Hallelujah, hallelujah. Beloved in Christ, this is the day the Lord has made. Beloved, let us pray. Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, this is the another day you have given to your children. Father, we thank you for a moment like this. It is by your power, it is by your might, it is by your authority. Unto thee, O Lord, all things are possible with you. Father Almighty, the Son and the Holy Spirit, we give you all the glory. Father, as you have given us this day to listen to your word, let your word come forth. We thank you. We give you all the glory. Master Jesus, take control. Holy Spirit, take control. Abba, our daddy, take control. Unto thee, O Lord, let your will, only the will, shall be done this morning. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Father, may you bless the prophets that you have ordained, and also his listeners that come to the Zoom to listen every day. May they also be blessed. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. This is the moment that we, the Lord has given us this day. As we are about to listen to the word of God, without wasting time, we will turn our Bibles to Genesis. Genesis 21. And the title of my message is The Promise to be Fulfilled. So I read Genesis 21, 1 to 3. And the Lord visited Sarah, and he has said, and the Lord did for Sarah as he has spoken. For Sarah conceived and bore Abraham, a son in his old age, at the set time of which God has spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son who was born to him, Sarah bore to him Isaac. Beloved, this is the promise to be fulfilled. The seed of the promise was Isaac. The seed of the flesh is Ishmael. Beloved, Abraham was faithful to God. God promised our grandfather, Abraham, a child that took him for 25 years. So this is my question this morning, you and I. When we ask or request that we want something from our God, do we wait? Do we have the patience to wait for our God, but our grandfather, Abraham, it took him 25 years. Here, we are going to look at some things about Abraham. Abraham trusted God. That's why he was a friend to God. Abraham had a long suffering that he had confidence waiting upon the Lord and also confidence in the Lord. That's why Abraham was called the father of faith. So do we wait upon the Lord? 
that when we put our request or our need to him for a long period like Abraham, about the seed of the flesh, we all know it was Isaac. And Abraham needed a son. So he led the flesh. He was after the flesh. That's why he went with Hagar to have Ishmael, a son that he needed. So the maid also bore him a son, which was Ishmael, but it was the flesh. He wanted to satisfy the flesh. So my question is, do we also satisfy the flesh or we wait upon the Lord? This is what God is telling us. We have to wait. Our God is faithful. Our God will never deceive us. Long suffering. We need patience to wait upon him. Hallelujah. So you and I, we must let the Spirit of God lead us in everything, control our every thought, control our mind, so that we will wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God, it gives life. Life is through our Lord Jesus Christ. So we thank him, like Abraham waited. So this is a moment God is telling us that if it took Abraham 25 years, what about you and I? We have to wait upon the Lord. May his name be exalted. Amen. We will continue the same Genesis 21, the verses 10 to 13. And I read, therefore, he said to Abraham, cast out this born woman and her son, for the son of born woman shall not be here with my son, namely Isaac, 11. And the matter was very displeasing in Abraham's sight because of his son. But God said to Abraham, do not let it be displeasing in your sight because of the lad or because of your bond woman. Whatever Sarah has said to you, listen to her voice. For in Isaac, your seed shall be called. Hallelujah. Our God is so good. He was telling Abraham that listen to what your wife is telling you, that he needed a son. I, the Lord, has given Sarah a son. So Sarah is telling you that he doesn't want to let the other woman, the servant, son, be with my, ch be with my child, because my child is the seed. So Abraham has to listen to the wife. And God was telling Abraham, listen to your wife. And when you listen to your wife, I, the Lord, will know that the born son, I, the Lord, will bless him. And indeed, God is so passionate. Indeed, God is so considerate. God consider us all, and he blessed Isaac. And indeed, Isaac was blessed. So, beloved, what God is telling us, let us acquire all the time from our Lord, from our maker, from God, who is able to do everything, exceedingly, abundantly, whenever we wait upon him. Let us read Habakkuk 2. This is another prophet telling us the vision when God gives you 
a promise is surely come to pass, but you have to wait upon the Lord. Whatever he says, he does it. So shall we turn our Bible to Habakkuk, 3, Habakkuk 2 and the verse is 3. For the vision is yet for appointed time. The vision is yet for appointed time. That means the promise has a time to come unto you or I. But at the end, it will speak and it will not lie. Our God never lie. At the end, whatever he say, it surely come to pass. Because he's God. He can do it. He's so faithful. He's so kind. He's so gentle. And God is a good God. Hallelujah. Though it tarries, wait for it. It will take long. Like Abraham's case, it took him so long. 25 years. You and I, can we wait for 25 years for something? We are in a hurry. But in our God, whatever he says, he produces it. Whatever he wants to do for you and I, he will do it. It's a matter of what? Patience. Though it tarry, wait for it. This is what he said. The Bible is telling us. The minor prophet, which is Habakkuk, is telling us. But it will surely come, whatever God says. It does surely come to pass. He is almighty Jehovah, everlasting God, covenanted God. Whatever he says it will surely come to pass. So beloved, we need to wait upon the Lord. We have to have a patience for Almighty Jehovah. It will not tarry. He said in Numbers 23, 19, whatever I send forth, it has to go and perform and surely come back to me, I the Lord. This is our God, the creator of heaven and earth. The Lord, the one who knows tomorrow, the one who controls life. Oh, he's so marvelous. So he's so wonderful. He is a chain of days. There is no other God beside our God. So beloved, we need to wait upon the Lord. We have to be patient as our grandfather Abraham was. So it is up to you and I to wait upon the Lord. And when we do this, our God will see us through. We give him all, 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 all the glory that what he has done for us, we thank him. The breath, even today, you and I, we are breathing freely. Who has done this? It is him alone. Who can do this? It is him alone. So we thank him for a message like this. The promise will be fulfilled if you wait upon the Lord. May God Almighty bless his message. Sanctify us so that we will wait upon the Lord. And very soon, soon and soon, he is coming. So are we prepared to meet our maker? This is end time. This is end time. So we have to be prepared. Anything can happen. So we have to wait upon the Lord, be faithful upon him, and do what God wants us to do. We give him all the glory. I take this opportunity that God will bless our prophet, prophet Ebenezer Kanau. May God bless you and your family. May God bless your listeners that every day, they come to Zoom to listen. May they all be blessed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We give God the glory in Jesus Christ, your mighty name. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.